Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna do a very different type of video. I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this, but if you guys are watching, you know that I uploaded it. So as you all can see, I look a little different than usual. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm kind of nervous about that. I mean, my eyeliner is a big statement on my face and without it, it looks kind of different, you know? And my hair is also still wet because I just got out of the shower. But today I'm gonna do like a chatty get ready with me video because I've been meaning to do this for a really long time. Time, but because I have a booktube channel, I don't really know if you guys are interested in it or you know I just want to make this video a little bit more personal and I just want to talk about things that are going on in my mind right now. Plus I'm also just gonna do my makeup and show you guys what my daily makeup routine is because this is what I do every single day and sometimes when I would go to school I would leave out a couple of things or when I would go to work but this is like if I have time to do my makeup this is how I always do it. Oh wait, I did not show you guys what I used before I put my makeup on. I'm gonna grab it for you. So before I put on my makeup, I cleansed my face with this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, I think is how you call it in English. So I did that to sort of like clean my face from all the dirt that I had. And then I put on this like, it's not really a primer, it's not really a moisturizer, but this is a mattifying lotion by The Body Shop, which is, um, it contains purifying tea tree oil from the foothills of Mount Kenya. Impressive. I put this on my face because it makes it look a little bit more matte and tea tree is really good for your skin if you have like pimples and stuff like that. And because I am 18 years old, I definitely have some pimples sometimes. I have like tiny red spots and recently I've had a lot of pimples and like spots around my mouth, like around this area and I hate that so much. And right now, let's do some foundation on my face. So the first thing that I'm gonna use is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup, which I bought last year in America because I've heard amazing things about this foundation that it's like really blendable. So, and from experience, I can tell you guys that it is. And I'm using the color W3. I'm gonna be like a real beauty guru right now. I'm using the color W3, which is nude beige, and it's actually, well for the summer, like right now, because I have a little bit of a tan still from Bonaire, it's good for my skin, but when it's winter, this is just a tad bit too dark. Um, so let's do this. I always like shake it, and I open the cap, and I use what is in the cap. Like, I don't do it on my hand, because I always take too much foundation. Okay, so let's start this using my sleek, what is this, a contouring kit? And I use the mirror to like, see what I'm actually doing with my face. So I'm sorry if you guys don't really see what I'm doing. And to like, put this foundation in my face, I'm using a new brush. This is the PS Pro. Like, what's this kind of brush called? I don't know. It's from Primark and these kinds of brushes are really popular and I do this to like, you know, I wanted to say scrub my foundation in, but I don't do that. Um, so let's just apply it. It's really strange that right now I'm not making a booktube video, but a makeup video. And that kind of brings me back to the good old days when, <laughs> when I was 12. So that's like six years ago. Because back then I had a YouTube account. Mm -mm, I was like, I have been here a long time, guys, but just with like different content and um, I did makeup videos back then. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so nice. Um, I did makeup videos in the past when I was like super young, when I was like 11, 12 years old, I was still in primary school and I did makeup videos and my channel name was Sabine is for makeup. I know it's so bad, but I was 11 guys. You have to keep that in mind. And I made videos in Dutch because back then I could not, like I definitely could speak English a little teeny tiny bit. I am, um, when we are 11, like in primary school, we get English or at least we got, I believe that children right now here in the Netherlands already get English when they are five. <laughs> but of course I got like bullied for doing that because I mean, I was 11 guys and people in primary school aren't always like super nice. And of course it's different to make videos about makeup, but I think that maybe then YouTube wasn't seen as that cool as it is right now maybe, or maybe just because I was so young and doing like 
makeup videos I don't know but they bullied me because of that and then I went to high school and I still had the channel for a little while um, and then I was really afraid that people were gonna find out that I had a YouTube channel and I was really afraid that I was gonna get bullied in high school again because of that and um, that is why I quit making beauty videos plus I've also really like lost interest in doing like makeup makeup myself well I really like doing it but not for like YouTube videos and I'm not that good with it like I'm kind of good at makeup but not at, like I don't have like the skills of Nikki Tutorials who is Dutch by the way too I love Nikki Tutorials she's amazing I definitely don't have the skills and the patience and eyeshadow looks weird on me so <laughs> that's also a thing I was definitely afraid that I was gonna get bullied and now that I have my booktube channel which I started in my fourth year of high school I was like whatever I don't really care that much anymore what people think of me of course I still do kind of care but as long as people are nice, you know, and now that, you know, we become a little bit older, especially when you're like 16, 17, you start to sort of like let people do what they want to do a bit more. So I did not get bullied. People sort of like made fun of me because especially people always uh, reenact my intro because I'm like, hi guys, my name's Sabine and welcome to a new video. And when I was at school, they would always like do that. But I see it as like a joke and they don't mean it in a mean way. I hope that in university people won't look at me in a weird way too but um yeah I just really hope that I will be able to continue doing this even though I'm gonna go to university. I've applied that right now and I'm gonna use a concealer which I bought this past Thursday when I went to The Hague with a friend of mine and I bought the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW20 so it's a little bit lighter than my skin color. Okay, I think that this is might be a little too much but whatever. I did like this big of a thing. And I'm first gonna apply it with my fingers and blend it in a bit and then I'm gonna use like the brush. This looks crazy, I know. But you just have to like blend it in. I'm like sort of like making a little triangle like right here on my eyes because I see a ton of beauty gurus do that so I've learned that from them <laughs> okay so it's definitely not blended as you can see but now I'm taking like the foundation brush that I use and I'm gonna blend it a little bit more in the skin talking about university I have lately been feeling very mixed things about this um, I graduated high school this May, June, <laughs> almost said May, then I had my exams, but I graduated officially in June, like I heard that I graduated high school, and um, ever since that, I'm always thinking about it right now, because yesterday, I ran, or, or two days ago, I went to my dorm in Zeist, which is very close to Utrecht, where I'm gonna be going to university, and everything is you know, becoming a little bit more reality. Like at the moment, uh, a ton of people, a ton of future upcoming students are in Utrecht and they're doing like an introduction week, but it's very like a general introduction, not like from my own studies. And um, I did not want to go initially because it's also from like a different school. And I just don't really like intro weeks because all they do is party and drink beer and I hate beer and I'm not like the biggest fan of going out. Um, so it always scares me a little bit and I'm also quite scared to, I don't know, meet new people and maybe they won't like me and stuff like that. That's what I'm always thinking about. Um, oh, and by the way, I'm going to use my NYX contour palette to like set my face with this powder. And I'm gonna do contouring with these two and this one makes it a little bit more. You might not notice it in like my booktube videos, but I, I do feel like I'm a very spontaneous person, a very open person. But in these kinds of situations, I'm very scared to meet, uh, to meet new people. And I don't know why. I just, it's really hard for me to feel... 100% comfortable with people um, if I don't have to talk to you and it's like silent and it's okay for the both of us that means that I am 100% comfortable with you and when I feel like I need to talk constantly I really do like you but I'm just kind of scared that people won't think I'm a fun person when I'm silent that's kind of like I guess what I'm afraid of because you cannot always talk to people you know if you spend a whole year with them or a certain amount of time you can't always talk and I feel that when I'm silent people might think that I don't have anything to say or that I'm really boring and 
I just don't want the new people here to think that I'm boring or not fun to hang out with, you know? I want to be a fun person to hang out with, but I also can't force myself to be fun, you know? And it's just something that I'm constantly thinking about lately now that I'm going to a city where I really don't know anyone, which is scary. And I just... Oh, uh, I just, oh, I'm doing the contour right now. Um, and I just really, really, really want to stay friends with the friends that I have right now. Like, I don't want to lose contact. I don't want to lose contact with them. Although I know it's like, sort of like a normal thing in life that after a while you start to lose contact with certain people. But I have like a couple of people that I truly feel that we have a good friendship and I just don't want them to find better friends than me. I know that that will probably happen with some people, but I definitely have some people that I just don't want to lose, you know? I just need to stop worrying. I just need to really stop worrying because, you know, if certain people want to hang out with you, it means that they really like you, you know? Um, but yeah, that's mainly the reason why I'm scared of going to university because I don't know any people and that's mainly the only reason like I'm really excited to learn about the human body because what I'm gonna study is biomedical sciences at the University of Utrecht and like I'm not scared that the study might be not what I'm expecting like it could also be that like who knows maybe I don't really like the study but I've been looking at this for two years right now and I'm pretty confident that it sort of like fits with me um and I'm also not super afraid of living by myself, but also again, I kind of am. And I know that a lot of people really um, don't really, really, really love living <laughs> at home, but I really do. I love my family so much and um, like, especially my dad and I have a really good relationship. We have a ton of inside jokes and my mom is just so sweet and my sister is also fun to hang around sometimes, not all the times, but you know, when I'm gonna leave for five of the seven days of the week, I'm definitely gonna miss them. And yeah, it's kind of scary to just be on your own in a city where you don't know anyone with people who you, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of scary to me, but I feel like everyone has that, but it's just, you know, this is how I'm feeling and I can't really change that. In the end, you can always say, oh my God, what did I worry about? But you know, you don't, I don't know that right now. And you can always say things afterwards. This is becoming more of a talking video than a makeup video. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna do my blush right now, which is also by MAC. And I've had this for so, so long. It's crazy. I've had this for like five years and I use it every single day and there's still like no pen. This one is in the color Fleur Power, like flower power, but then in French, a fleur. But you know, just let me know in the comments for like people who are going through the same as me right now or who have gone through the same. Maybe you guys can reassure me that everything is gonna be fine. Um, so I have applied my blush, I've done my contour, and right now I'm gonna do highlight and I'm gonna use the Super Shock Cheek by ColourPop. And this is my favorite highlighter ever. It looks really purple that I'm holding it right now in the camera but it's not really like on your cheeks. This one is called Hippo and I love that name. So I'm just applying it on my finger and I'm holding my face like this and then I look into like the light and I apply the highlight from like right here, whoop, from right here up to like here. And let's do it on the other side as well. I don't know if there are any things that you guys would like to know about me. Maybe I could do like a QA and a and stuff like that. So if you have any personal questions, you can leave them in the comments down below. So of course I do need to sort of like blend this highlight because you can see like my fingertips in it right now. So yeah, besides worrying about university, which I should, I should stop worrying that much because I'm not enjoying my time otherwise. Besides that, I'm just uh, meeting with friends a lot and also reading. I'm trying to read more. I'm gonna visit a friend of mine who has her dorm in Eindhoven, which is also a city in the Netherlands, uh, which is so much fun. And I've done shopping in The Hague. I went to Utrecht before I went to Malta. I went to Malta with a friend, so that's also a thing that I did. Yeah, so this week I'm also going to Ikea to get some stuff for my room. 
so that's also really nice. And by the way, I'm gonna do my eyes soon, but right now I'm gonna apply the Firebender Lip Balm by Geeky Clean, which was in my June Fairy Loot unboxing. Yeah, uh, it's a really great lip balm. I love it. It is so soft, it's not okay. It's like so soft and moisturizing, and it smells like watermelon, which is great. Um, so I did the face, the face is done. And now my favorite part of my whole look, which is kind of like my statement, kind of, is my eyeliner. So for like the tiny wings that I'm going to do first, I'm going to use my Essence eyeliner pen in Waterproof. And I'm going to zoom you guys in a bit more. Okay, so I'm holding the mirror right here and I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing. So a couple of friends have asked me to do like an eyeliner video, but I'm not a beauty guru like I said. But right now this is the perfect opportunity to show you guys how I do my eyeliner. So... What I do to make the wing, you have to like follow this line right here and just make the flick to sort of be like an extension of that. So I'm gonna do this. And I need to not talk because otherwise it's not gonna go well. It probably won't go well because I'm filming it, so. <laughs> okay, so I'm just doing this right now as like a guideline for later on. Now I'm gonna do this side. Like that, because this eyeliner is too... There's not a lot of pigment in it anymore. Um, but for that, I'm going to use a liquid eyeliner. So here it is. It is the Catrice Liquid Liner in Waterproof. I just really like waterproof eye makeup because that means it will stay on like all day long. So this is like... Uh, this is not like a, a felt tip thing. It's like a real liquid thing I you I do feel like you need to be a little bit more experienced with eyeliner oh my god there's an eyelash in my eye can you guys see that you do need to be like a little bit more experienced with eyeliner to do this in my opinion or at least that's for me and <laughs> that's what it was for me okay so that's it and I'm gonna like connect it to my um upper lash line Okay, so as you can see, like, the, the wing is not as sharp as I want it to be. So then I take my Q-tip and my Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover. Like, this is how you pronounce it in English. Nivea, and in Dutch you say Nivea. So I'm just gonna shake this real well and take a Q-tip. I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna try and make this eyeliner a bit more sharp looking. Because it's not looking super sharp right now. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And I really like thin eyeliner. I don't like the thick eyeliner that is like so popular on like uh, Instagram. I hate that one. I really like thin eyeliner like this. Okay, so I think that my eyeliner actually looks really good, especially this side. I'm right-handed, so I don't know. I always do like my eyeliner with the right hand, but this one on my left eye always looks better. And this one on the right eye. Right now, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and I know a ton of people think that looks awful. So I'm using this. I'm also taking my mirror and I'm gonna curl them because it makes my eyelashes look so much longer when I curl them. Like I've done this since I was 13. I've been doing this for five years right now and it's like my go-to thing. So let's talk <laughs> while I'm doing this about some fun things as well. I have recently been so obsessed again with Sherlock. It is crazy. I watched the show last year for the first time like as a whole. I already watched season three episode two with like the wedding. Um, I watched that. That was like the first Sherlock episode that I watched and then I found out that it was on Netflix here in the Netherlands and I watched the whole TV show in like a week or something because on the internet somewhere it said that it was gonna leave Netflix which was wrong, which was a mistake, uh, but I still loved binge watching Sherlock. Oh by the way I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Waterproof Mascara. I told you guys I love waterproof makeup. Uh, but um, I rewatched the whole uh, three seasons and fourth season because I watched the fourth season when the episodes came out. But I rewatched season one to four of Sherlock with my dad this past month in July and August. And oh my god, I love Sherlock so much. I'm like obsessed again. I want 
everything Sherlock. I also received a mug, like a Sherlock mug in my July fairy loot, which is my favorite fairy loot item ever. Oh my god, I can't tell you guys how obsessed I am with it again. I just love Sherlock and Benedict Cumberbatch so much. At first you think, oh my god, he's so ugly. How can people think that Benedict Cumberbatch is, you know, handsome? I think he's, after, you know, watching Sherlock, watching Doctor Strange, which is really great as well, by the way, I feel like, um, uh, I really like Benedict Cumberbatch. It's not like I would really crush crush on him, but it's kind of weird to say that I think he looks good because he's actually really ugly, but when you get used to him, he kind of becomes non-ugly. It's a really strange thing to have, and it's so fast-paced. There's so much mystery, like, every single episode has, like, a murder or... You know something suspicious going on plus there's like a really big storyline through it as well so it's not like you can watch every single episode or just like you really have to follow them in the right order and you just can't watch season three episode three especially that one and expect for you to understand everything because you won't you won't understand it please watch it um but if i have to like make a top three of like my favorite tv shows of the moment I'm definitely gonna have to say I think Game of Thrones on number one. I still have to watch season seven, episode five. On number two, Sherlock. I just have refound my love for it again. And number three is Stranger Things because I love that so much too. I watch it during the summer, and then not this summer, last summer, and then I rewatched it three weeks later with my dad as well. So and the first time that I watched it, I finished it in 24 hours. So. <laughs> So yeah, this is like my face makeup and my eye makeup is done right now. The only thing that's left to do is my lips. The Milani um, Amora Matte Lip Cream in Adorable. My hair is still not completely dry, but I did my whole makeup look. I did my eyes, my face, my lips, and I got to talk to you guys a little bit. I'm definitely, I definitely think that I'm gonna upload this. I know it's kind of a little bit more personal, but I want you guys to know a little bit more about me besides that I love books and stuff like that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. If you guys want to stay up to date with like what I'm currently reading, like the booktube side of this, um, I will have my Goodreads account in the description down below as well. Plus I also have bookstagram, a personal Instagram, Snapchat, and an email address. So just go check out whatever you want. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means so much to me that you are watching this and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!